hello and welcome to another video today i'm doing something very special and i am going to be rating every single lip product that i own i don't think there's really anything else to talk about so let's get into it just counted and i have a total of 31 lip products that is including lip glosses lip balms lip oils lip pens lip treatments and lip liners and one lip stain also <laughs> to make everything a little bit easier i've made a tier list so you'll be able to see where i'm putting everything there are five categories to the tier list from worst to best it goes don't really use okay yes obsessed and die for. The first product that we have is the Bitten Lip Stain from Flower, which is Drew Mary, which is Drew Barrymore's makeup brand. This is pretty solid. It's a great color. You can see it's a nice red and it stains your lips well. The color payoff, if you leave it on long enough, it gets really dark. Um, but even if you just put it on for a little bit and then pat it off, it's good. So that's gonna put it in the okay category. Next, we're going to go into lip oils. I am starting off with the NYX Fat Oils. I love these. I'm actually, wait, I have another color. She was hiding in my bag. I have three shades of this, um, a pink, a purple, and kind of an orangey one. I really, really like these. The applicator is really big, which is fun. The only thing that I have against them is that when you open the bottles, here, I can show you. When you open the bottles, the part in the middle is like very hard to get the applicator out of and it takes a lot of the like actual oil, like it leaves it in the bottom part, which is kind of annoying, but I love the formula and I wear these all the time. So I'm going to put them in Obsessed. Sticking with lip oils, we also have three of the new e.l.f. lip oils. I am obsessed with these not going to put them in obsessed i'm going to put them in to die for i have three colors amazing shades i actually have this one on right now this is like one of my new favorite products ever i'm a huge fan i probably could have left this out but i'm showing you what all my actual lippies that i use are so this is a very busted ulta beauty lip oil I was looking for a dupe of the Dior one, obviously well before the e.l.f. dupe came out. And so I grabbed this at Target, I think. She is not that good. It's a lot thinner of a lip oil than I like. I like my lip oils to be basically glosses. So definitely not my favorite, but it's solid and I've used it a lot. I'm gonna put it in okay. We are moving on to lip glosses. We are gonna start off with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. These are all plumping glosses. Um, I have three shades. They're all very different for some reason and I'm not sure why. This white glitter one is the first one that I got. The lip plumper is really good, but I'm not obsessed with the color just because it's very, very opaque, which is not what I like in a glitter lip product. Next, I got this one and for some reason, the gloss is like really too thick. Like the color is too, too much. And for some reason, this one, the, the lip plumper does not work. Like if this is just a regular gloss, even though it says lip for gloss, the lip plumper doesn't work. So Maybelline, I don't know what you did wrong, but there's something wrong with this lip gloss. The last one that I got is this super pretty pink color, which looks low-key kind of similar to the other one, but it's different, I swear. And this one is really good and I love it and it works really well. But all together, I'm gonna put them in yes. It's a solid product, even with the issues I've run into. Next is the CoverGirl Yummy Glosses. These are up there with e.l.f. They're definitely going to go into die for. Um, these are one of my favorite lip products of all time. This is one of my favorite makeup products of all time. I love these glosses so much. I only have two shades, but as you can see, I got this one a while ago and I have gone through it. What are the benefits? First off, 
they have the biggest applicator ever. I will do a show and tell. She is thick, okay? Second, all of the colors are like the perfect gloss colors. You can see this one is like more transparent and that one's more opaque, but both of the colors still look so good on your lips. I'm obsessed with them. On top of that, they are not plumping glosses. At least they're not marketed as plumping glosses, but I swear they give you a little bit of a plumping effect and they're definitely tingly, which I like. This one is the Florence by Mills Plumper Gloss. It's fine. It's really, really, really thick, which I am not a fan of in a lip gloss. Like, even though I said that I didn't like the Ulta lip oil because it was too thin, this is like so thick that it like almost like doesn't go on like it's weird the plumping effect however is super 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 good like it hurts <laughs> like it hurts a lot and it really makes your lips bigger so for that i'm gonna put it in okay next is this revlon lip gloss this is like the epitome of a clear gloss it's super good it has a big applicator it makes your lips super 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 shiny and i really like it um, it does, for some reason, this bottle keeps leaking. Revlon, girl, what's up with that? It's getting all of my other lip products sticky. But besides that, I love it. I'm going to put it in. Yes. This next gloss, also very, very used up. It is a Milani lip gloss. I will say when I bought this, the packaging made it look like it was a plumping gloss. It's not. Or if it is supposed to be a plumbing gloss, it's not <laughs> because it doesn't work like that, but it is a solid clear lip gloss. I am going to put her in okay. Lastly, for the lip glosses, we have this little baby Clinique sparkly gloss. I think I must have gotten this from my mom in like a Sephora like mini gift thing because I don't remember getting it to be completely honest, but I love her. Even though it's small, the color payoff is really, really good. Um, and it's a really good product to like put over another lip product, which is solid. I'm going to put it in yes, because I always wear it when I go out. Okay, these next ones are like lip balms or chopsticks, kind of. Um, I mostly use Aquaphor if I need a chopstick. These are the exceptions and the only ones I have. First, we have this e.l.f. Squeeze Me lip balm. These are pretty new. This is solid. I'm gonna put it in okay. It works, it's a lip balm. It's nothing special. Next, we have this Burt's Bees Squeezy Balm. I'm gonna put this in Don't Really Use just because it isn't that great of a lip balm. The color is very pretty, but it isn't like as good as regular Burt's Bees like chopsticks so yeah she's going in don't really use. I'm also going to put this CoverGirl clean and fresh lip balm that is also tinted. It is like a good it's good for a lip balm but then the tint is so 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 dark that it's not even worth putting on as a lip balm because your lips are literally gonna look dark purple which like if you like dark purple lips, slay, but like, it's not for me. So that is going in don't really use as well. The next two products are something that I've just gotten into and that is lip pens. I have two, the e.l.f. one that just came out as a dupe to the Maracuja Tarte lip plumping pen. And then I also just grabbed this NYX fat oil pen, which is the same line of products as these fat oil glosses that I love. I'll rank the e.l.f. one first. I'm putting this in Obsessed. Yes, it's because I just got it, but it is very good. It plumps your lips amazingly. The color payoff is super good, and it's solid. And it's just a solid product. The fat oil one, kind of weird. The color is not one that I usually go with, but it's a good option for a very pink lip. It is not plumping like the Tarte and e.l.f. ones, but it also gives you a very good glossy shine. So I'm gonna put her in just okay. Second to last category, we are almost done. This is all of my lip treatments. 
products. I'll be honest, this category is kind of thrown together because these are all different types of products, but that's okay. We're gonna start off with the e.l.f. Skin Overnight Lip Mask. These two, this is a Burt's Bees one, are both uh, dupes of the Laneige one. I really like this. It's solid. It has like a very, very subtle blue tint to it. Um, just in case you're wearing it like out if you wanted to, it does make your lips look a little blue, but it's very, very nourishing. I really like to wear it to sleep. I'm going to put it in yes. The Burt's Bees dupe of the Laneige one is also going in yes. It's solid. It's a different type of lip mask than the e.l.f. one. This one is, I would say, more of like a balm, and the other one is more of like almost a gel. So definitely two different types of texture, but this one is also going in, yes. Next is this Neutrogena Lip Plumping Serum. I'm going to put this in Don't Really Use. I got it mostly because of this applicator. It looked really cool. It has like the little balls. <laughs> Oh my god, why did that make you laugh? <laughs> it has the little metal balls. <laughs> this is what filming by yourself does to you. It has the little metal balls for like a cooling effect and um, that's like the main reason why I picked it up. I don't really know when I'm supposed to use this. Maybe I should start doing it before I start my makeup routine. Like I put on Aquaphor so my lips are hydrated when I need to do my lip liner but I don't know, maybe I'll start doing that. For now, I'm gonna put it in Don't Really Use. From Tree Hut, it's okay. I have a kind of hard time with lip scrubs because I can never get like the sugar crystals off. I feel like they like always stick onto your face and then like end up like everywhere kind of. Um, I'm gonna put it in okay because I do use it when I need to exfoliate my lips, but I would like something different. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want to use it. Our last category is lip liners. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with my favorite, which is the NYX lip liners. These are solid. They have a ton of colors. They are very, very pigmented. And I just love them. I have three colors that I think are all really solid. This is in the shade Ever. And this is like my lip shade. Then I have this one in the shade Vintage which is like the dark purple that I use. And then this brown one in the shade Nude Truffle is like a perfect brown, at least for my skin tone, to line my lips with. These are my faves and I'm gonna put them in to die for because they're the only ones I really use. Okay, next I have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper. This, <laughs> this is also like a little clicky. Um, I think it's solid. The color isn't that good. It's like slightly off from my lip, my lip shade. So it looks kind of awkward whenever I have it on. With that said, the plumping effect is very good. It hurts a lot, especially if you do this and then put another lip plumper over it, you're gonna be in pain. But it works, I'm gonna put it in yes. Okay, we're moving on to these two kind of random red lip liners that I have. One is from Lancome, and one I think is from L'Oreal. These are both probably my mom's because I have no recollection of purchasing them. Also, they look old. <laughs> these two I'm putting in don't really use. I don't know why I have them. Okay, that is the end of the video because we've gone through everything. My lippy container is back to being full and about to be empty if I drop everything on the ground. Also, huge shout out to Aquaphor because this is something that I do use every single day no matter what. I guess I took off the Aquaphor sticker that's on it so it just looks unbranded. Oops. My top products are definitely the e.l.f. lip oils, the CoverGirl yummy glosses, and the NYX pencils. I usually use one of those every day during the week. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!